In Ephesians 1 3, it says God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. But how do we draw it out? How do we release the power of God that's already in us, in our born-again spirit? We release it by studying the Word. Studying God's Word will draw out the wisdom that's in your spirit. When you're reading the Bible, you're receiving words with your physical eyes, that are spirit and life. As you take this knowledge into your soul, new thoughts and ideas come to your physical mind. When this happens, your spirit, which already has the truth and the mind of Christ, will bear witness with it. Surely you've read a scripture, and felt like you saw it all of a sudden. You may have read it a dozen times before, but all at once, everything in you shouts, yes. That's your spirit and your soul becoming of one mind. When your soulish realm gains a truth and begins to embrace it, your spirit connects and agrees. Once the connection is made, that truth just goes off inside of you. It's now revelation and reality to you. Because of your inner witness, you don't necessarily need anyone to prove it. You just know. Several scriptures reveal this inner witness. In Romans 8.16, it says, The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit, that we are children of God. And in 1 John 5.10, which says, Those who believe in the Son of God, have the living testimony in their hearts. Studying the Word of God is vital for achieving single-mindedness and releasing God's power. Your spirit mind, the mind of Christ completely agrees with the Word. When a truth from God's Word takes root in your soul-ish realm, that same knowledge which has already existed in your spirit mind, rises up and meshes with it. This draws God's power resident within you, out into the physical realm. That's when you see manifestations. Another powerful way to release God's power and the mind of Christ is praying in the Spirit. When you're praying in the Spirit, you are speaking mysteries unto God. When someone speaks in tongues, no one understands a word he says, because he's not speaking to people, but to God, he is speaking intimate mysteries in the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 14 2 You build yourself up by praying in the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 14 4 says, The one who speaks in tongues advances his own spiritual progress. It's your soul that's actually growing and being built up, because your spirit is already perfect and complete. The mind of Christ in your spirit prays when you pray in the Spirit. Your goal is to facilitate single-mindedness. You aren't trying to get the word into your spirit, because it already knows all things. You're trying to get God's word into your soul so that your spirit can bear witness with it. As your soul embraces the truth and agrees with it, throwing all other contrary thoughts and belief systems, you become of one mind. Your soul unites with your spirit's way of thinking, and you're built up by drawing your spirit's wisdom and knowledge out into the physical realm. That's when you'll see God's power manifest. Here are some of God's powerful truths to meditate upon 